You may want to put it in that field, you know, two is that concept. You may want to love you, you may cry a bunch of hands at you. You may say, Aaron Wilson, you may want to make him in the cards. It's 50 metres freestyle. Lorenzo Bellacci. What can he go in four? Svetkov of Serbia in five. The final heat it is of the men's 50 metres freestyle. Ballarati in four. Setkov in five. Harlem of Norway in three. He's not slow. And Matthew Hamilton of Ireland in two. It's uh, possibly the best start coming from lane four, the fastest seed. It's uh, Lorenzo Ballarati of Italy. Really long, powerful stroke for a 50 freestyle. Wow. Well, he's a strong unit, this guy. Just breathed there at about uh, 35 metres or so. Don't normally breathe these 50 guys, and that's a quick swim. That's a very quick swim. Wow. 22.31 wins it from 22.65. Now, heat four of the men's 100 metres freestyle. Ruben Alti up there of zero is uh, from Ireland. And Belskis of Lithuania is the fastest seed in lane number four. Matthew Hamilton of Ireland in three as well. So two Irishmen in this heat three of eight. Lithuanians uh, in lane four swam very well at this mate. They really have got a bronze medal on that mixed four by hundred medley relay last night. So heat three of eight heats of the men's 100 meters freestyle. Fastest seed right in the center, Belskius of Lithuania. This lifetime best 52-1. 52-2, a lifetime best from uh, Matt Hamilton in lane three. And he's gone off very fast as Hamilton. Look at this. Gracious me, 52-2. He's going to turn in 23 point, is he? 23-9. Wow, good turn as well. Really good turn. Very long rangey stroke. Look at that. He's all elbows, but he's very effective. And this is an outstanding swim. Well, of 23.9, you can do an awful lot. This is really impressive. He's going to go at 50 points, I think. Possibly even faster. This is outstanding from the Irishman. Matthew Hamilton. Come on, Matthew, get in. Straight arms inside the last five as well. That's a super swim. 50.72. That's very good indeed. Well, off a 52.2 entry time. 50.7 in heat three. And another Lisbon swimmer, Aidan Mallet is in third from the prelim. Okay, here we go. Logan, Hussam, Horgan, Mallet, Hamilton, Newman, Rin, Schobert, Switzer, and Fain. Watch out for this one. Lovely loop and fly swimmer. And then number four, Hamilton. That is Mr. Matthew Hamilton. Looking very, very comfortable down in this first 50. Two lanes above him in lane number six. That is Owen Wren, looks comfortable too. So watch out for him, very close at the 50. It's Hamilton from Wren, from Mallet. Coming down this 50 meter backstroke. Keep the rate up, keep it going. We've seen a dominant breaststroke performance in each of the last number of finals in the medley. Pretty much means you're gonna win. So have that in your heads, folks. Watch out for the breaststroke swimmer. It's lane number three coming through strong. He's got a bit of a backstroke about him. That's Aidan Mallet, the Lisbon swimmer. He's going to overtake, I think. And also in number seven into the picture, Artem Chobot as well. So very tight here in this DA final. Can't call it. Chobot in seven, yep. From Mallet, from Rin, from Hamilton. Who's got the breaststroke? We are about to find out. At the minute, doesn't look to be any standout performer in the breaststroke. So this could really set us up for a fantastic freestyle finish. I'll tell you what, below in lane number two, Dara Horgan of Limerick has got a nice wee breaststroke about him. He's trying to up that rate. But it is the two Lisbon lads in the middle, Mallet and Hamilton, and two above them, excuse me, is Owen Wren of Trident. So here we go. Like I said, lane number two, looking super fast. He's going to take a touch. Limerick into the lead, 145-43.
who's got the freestyle, who's got the guts, who's got the determination, the grit, the teeth, and take the gold medal. Can it be Dara Horgan to take the gold back down to Munster? No, the Lisbon swimmer Hamilton has got the freestyle. Here he comes, Hamilton, all the way down the last leg. He's absolutely flying. He's going to take the win. He was 2.18.85 this morning. He's going to smash it. Yes, 2.15.92 for Hamilton. Owen Rin, 2.16.6. And that Here is your start list for the men's 16 years, 200 metres butterfly final. Good start there from Jack Brown in lane number five. He had the best reaction time along with Rounce down in lane zero. Now that they are up and into their strokes, it is Brown with a very slender lead down this first 50 meters. Going well at the top of the pool is Hawkins in lane eight. As we come into the first turn. And it is Hawkins that gets the touch after 50 meters, 27.71 for him, ahead of Jack Brown. And in third position at that turn, it's Kinlan, the City of Sheffield swim squad in lane six. Down now we go to the bottom of the pool and going very well for Millfield. It's Stubbs Green in lane one and one lane up from him, Mahmoud of Romford Town. They've had a good second 50 meters here as it's tight into the turn, still leading the way at the top of the shot. It's Hawkins from lane eight from a mood and Stubbs Green now in the third position by a tenth of a second. Now they're trying to make their move on this third length. Going well, it is still Hawkins at the top in lane eight for Royal Tunbridge Wells Monson. We come under the flags and into the final turn. It will be Hawkins that leads down the final 50 meters. Good turn there for Mahmood in lane two in that yellow hat of Rumford Town. Now we can see going very well in seven, it's Hamilton of Plymouth Leander. The noise is increasing in this pool, but at the bottom of the shot, Stubbs Green of Millfield He's going well in that green hat. As we come into the final five meters, and it's gonna be very tight. It's gonna come down to the touch. And it is Ethan Stubbs Green of Millfield, 206.66. Just three one hundredths ahead of Jack Brown in lane five for Soundwell coming through there. And then 207.05 for Matthew Hamilton to take the bronze medal for Plymouth Leander. There are your official results of the men's 16 years, 200 metres. McCarthy of New Ross, who's some nine seconds back. So there is your swimmers, Ramchandi, Mawini, Barrett, McCarthy, Hamilton, Ahmed, Lanigan, Farron, Hutchinson and Kelly. Again, another Lisbon swimmer, right up there in the mix. Wherever you look at the minute at this meet. And they're away, lovely underwaters there from Hamilton. And a nice loping stroke, haven't really seen one of them yet. A loping stroke where he just lets the arms and the gravity and the momentum and inertia of his arms carry himself over the water and use that pressing of the chest, that, those fly kicks, use that body position to allow you to just float through the water. Hamilton on the 28.6, Donica McCarthy is a 28.7, and Connor Lanigan is a 29.1.
So it's unfolding like the prelims would have suggested. Hamilton of Lisburn, the clear early leader, two lanes above him in lane number six, that is Connor Lanigan is his closest at the minute. But expect Hamilton to put the afterburners on here on the back 100 meters. Good underwater from Hamilton. Look at that. He was a two he was 0.6 ahead of Lanigan at the 100. Look how far ahead he is now. That just shows you the importance of the underwaters, the importance of the turns. Looks to be a very tall guy as well for 16 years of age, so that's a real advantage for him too. A great battle on though for silver and bronze, it looks like the gold seemingly decided. 135.8 for Hamilton. Donica McCarthy slipped in the silver position. Lanigan, Lanigan has dropped back to fourth position. Here we go. It's going to be Hamilton versus the clock. Hamilton this morning was a 2-10-1. He'll want to get under that 2-10 margin. Beginning to hurt. You can see the arms beginning to tire ever so slightly. Very much expected at the end of a 200 fly. All the way in. Can he get his hand on the wall in time? And he can. 2095. Great swim. Matthew Hamilton. Barrett gets in.